<laughs> um, we got to go back to the Toronto days. You mentioned Pat Burns and uh, Chuck Gomez was talking about him and just how stern he was and how he demanded the best from his players, and he was kind of a scary guy. Yeah, he, uh, I was playing in Winnipeg, and I was lined up in front of the bench in, uh, in Toronto, and I heard someone from the Toronto bench say, hey, da da you know, I'm like, turn around. And it, Burns goes, no, I'm serious, Ty. I'd love to have him on my right side. <laughs> so He was tampering. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so a week, a week or 10 days later, I ended up uh, getting a phone call that I'm traded to Toronto, and it was Pat Burns. I told you I wanted you. <laughs> so... Uh, you know, we kind of hit it off like right away. And when I got to Toronto, uh, he said, uh, "I'm going to make you into player." Just you know, this and this and this. And he was a special, a special coach. I think uh, him and Pat. I was very blessed to have him and Pat Quinn as my coaches. And uh, the one funny story was in uh, <laughs> in Chicago. We have a little five on five brawl. <laughs> And uh, he coached Chris Chelios in Montreal, and that was his favorite player at right, all the time. So we have a five on five, and Chelios the only one that's not, you know, and I'm, everybody else is lined, you know, paired up with someone, and so it's Chelly. <laughs> so I grabbed Chelly, and right, uh, I got a, I got a cock back, right, and Chelly's like, you know, <laughs> and I go, Chelly, what are you doing? He said. I don't know. <laughs> so I just kind of let him go. Oh, you let him go. I let him go. All right. And then after the period, Pat Burns. You had him at the tip of your fingers. What did you do? You let him off the hook. I'm like, no, I didn't say anything, right? In front of the whole team and everything. And he was like, you had him. He's going, you had him at the tip of your fingers. You had him. He talks like he's God, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And he kind of was at the time. Yeah, of course. You know, he was the whole Chicago Blackhawks. So anyway, we fly back to Toronto. And uh, trainer say, Pat wants you in his office. So I walk in there, and he's got his Mr. Briefs on, nothing else. <laughs> it's quite the sight. <laughs> but he, he stands up, and uh, I, I'm ready. To, I thought he was going to blast me. And he, he says, come here. Right, I walk over. He's got his Mr. Briefs on. He goes, I love you, man. Gave you a hug. He goes, I'm I'm so sorry about that. He goes, you showed him respect. Yeah, and, for sure. You know, you know that was very uh, respectful of you, and I love him, and uh, you know uh, that was very very nice. I'm very sorry for snapping on you. <laughs> so that was the kind of bond that we had, and you know that was when it first kind of kicked in that you know this guy's pretty cool. What did he see in you that maybe you didn't see in yourself, and and how we helped develop your game? Like what what were the areas where he's like, I think you can get better here. I, I see it. And, well, and, he and, saw me in June junior right okay and i was playing the top line with mike ricci so i think he he thought i could do that in the nhl and uh you know he he did it he actually lived by his word and the playoffs i played with sundin and gilmore on the line which was pretty cool and you know i that's where i kind of got my confidence i could play in the nhl as a regular in the playoffs and so that was like in 94 right so um that was kind of when i were you wheeling around with these guys off the ice? Like, who is your who is your buddy? <laughs> Sundin, right? I know. I Sundin, see you guys yeah. snap or not Snapchatting, yeah. Instagram story yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt's obviously is like a brother. Um, you know, we were tied at the hip. We sat next to each other on a bus, the plane, breakfast, dinner. You know, all that. <laughs> and you know, he he was a shy guy, quiet guy. So he liked being around me because I was the guy. Yeah, that, you would attract the people, right? <laughs> I mean, if you would go out. Well, yeah, I was the one who kind of you know always took care of things for us and Timo Solani same thing in Winnipeg it was the same thing and I was blessed to play with Timo and when he scored 76 that year that was a fun year to, to, to protect him and oh yeah that's right you were there for his rookie season yeah, yeah so I, I, I'm not gonna go to the Hall of Fame but I'm in the Hall of Fame for assisting on his record-breaking goal get the old <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. off that's yeah. unbelievable yeah. I, I saw when... PG keep it PG beast oh I'm sorry this, yeah yeah if your daughter wants this. to listen no you... my my nieces and nephews I'm they're... sorry I'm sorry. We're going to edit that. Gamerelli's going to edit all the swear words from this interview. My apologies. <laughs> um, God, I forgot where I was. There. Oh, Timu Solani. So, you know, when special you. Special guy. Special guy. When, yeah. you, when he went up to give his Hall of Fame speech, he had you written down in it. But, you know, when you get up there and the nerves start kicking in, and he actually forgot to mention you. And then, you're, you, you know, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he was like showing you. George the, Perils and I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, you'll t- tell the story. Yeah. So, uh, he mentions a bunch of people and uh you know you, you get two tickets right like two two tickets to give to people and, and plus your wife and you know you don't get a lot of tickets when you're going to the hall of fame i know because of mario and Matt and stuff so right. so i've been there with those guys and uh so but he had us 
it, you know, uh, as his Were you guest. the two tickets he gave for Peros and you? Yeah. And he forgot to mention. And he, and for, and, but it doesn't matter. He showed us after. He showed us a speech, and he had us in there. So, But George and I had some fun with that. It was pretty oh, cool. Oh, I bet. Yeah, yeah you probably yeah. had to buy a few rounds after that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it, was, it was good. He, he, you know, team was a, one, of the, one of the best teammates I ever had. Him and Matt's, and uh, obviously when I was in New York, protecting Messier was was a special. Like, he taught me how to be a real pro, and uh, I, was, I was blessed to play with Messier for sure. Sure.